Hi, in this video we're gonna demonstrate Cloudberry Remote Assistant 1.7. So over the last couple of months we have completely redesigned Remote Assistant to make it more convenient and easy to use. We've also significantly expanded the app's functionality to make it a fully featured Remote Assistant solution for all sorts of users. And without further ado, let's get to the general user interface and see how the app looks. By default, the app is launched into the host mode that enables other users to connect to your PC. You can notice the current mode by looking at the main toolbar where you can see whether the app is controlling remote computers or whether the app is in the host mode enabling others to connect to your PC. Here you can see the ready to connect indicator, meaning that the app has connected to our servers and is ready to go. Also here is the computer ID and your PIN number which you should share with the other person so that they will be able to connect to this computer. Now, if you have encryption enabled, you will have to provide the encryption key to the other person in addition to your computer ID and PIN. So click on the encryption title and point your mouse to the key and click on it. And it's copied. So now when the other person wants to connect to your computer, what they should do is enter your computer ID and click connect. Now you as a host should accept the connection by clicking OK here. You can also specify the advanced settings like enabling the full control or view only mode and sharing a specific application. You can also instruct your app to shut down when the incoming connection is terminated. So click OK, paste the code here and click OK. Now you should enter the PIN number which is 9465. All right, let's go. Yeah, as you can see, the, the target machine features a very high resolution display, meaning that we now better scale our resolution to make it more convenient. So click on toggle scaled view mode. Let's expand the app. And as you can see, we have the uh, remote assistant right here. Uh, so now it's working. On the main toolbar, you can also initiate the chat. Uh, so you can just uh, write something here. And the target user may also reply to you and explain what seems to be the issue. Here you can also select the required monitors as well as disable your microphone, request full control if that's necessary, uh, and so forth. Uh, now request full control is um, a very powerful feature, but it's uh, disabled by default, so you can request full control. Cloudberry Remote Assistant on the target computer will prompt the user to enable you to do that. So if they click yes, you can go ahead and control their computer click wherever you want and just uh, control the computer like you would usually do. Now, as you've noticed, authentication via pin codes is not very convenient if you want to connect to your computer frequently and you don't want to bother with remembering pin codes and stuff like that. So for this purpose, we have implemented the so-called unattended access, which enables you to authenticate on the target computer using your Windows credentials as opposed to the pin code number that we have mentioned earlier. So in order to use unattended access, you should enable it in the settings. Go to settings to security and select the allow unattended access checkbox and click OK. And later on, when you attempt to connect to that computer again and click connect, you will be prompted to enter your PC's password as opposed to using PIN. So you enter the password and click OK. Now, when you try to connect to the computer using the unattended access, you will still have to enter your encryption key because when using this feature, encryption is mandatory. So you cannot use the unattended access without encryption. But Remote Assistant is pretty smart. So when you enter your encryption key once, it remembers it. And the next time you will only have to enter your Windows credentials. So just a couple of weeks ago, we have introduced Cloudberry Remote Assistant 1.7 and the highlight of this release is unquestionably the long-awaited file transfer. Many of our customers have requested this feature for a while and now it's finally here. So starting from release 1.7, uh, Remote Assistant features bidirectional file transfer, meaning that you can initiate file transfer from both target and the source computer uh, and obviously the files can go both ways. That way the app provides you with more powerful interaction between the host and the target computer. File transfer is primarily aimed at transferring documents, pictures and installation packages. And we do not recommend you use it for transferring sizable media files. There are no restrictions as to what file types can be transferred, so you can share just about any file required. To initiate a file transfer, click on the file icon on the Remote Assistance toolbar 
and now you're prompted with this window that enables you to initiate and track your transfers. So click Upload Files, uh, select any file you wa might want to transfer and click Open. The transfer will start and will shortly be complete. All files are by default saved to the Downloads folder, so you can just click Open Downloads and here you can see the file that has just been saved. It's pretty easy to use, you just click one button, select the file and click OK and you're done. Uh, naturally, you can uh, upload multiple files at once of different sorts, so you can select uh, folders, archives, texts, pictures, it doesn't make any difference. All files will be uploaded to the target computer one by one, and when you're done, you can again go to the target computer, open the downloads folder, and all of these files will be right there for you to use. All file transfers are tracked in the journal tab, so you can see when the connection started, which files were sent, and when the, when the transfer was finished. All right, so this has been a quick look at Cloudberry Remote Assistant 1.7. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.